It's 825 and across the country and here in Baton Rouge, there is a movement happening amongst young people leading the charge for the change they want to see in their communities. Joining us live right now via FaceTime is Alasia Johnson and good morning to you. She's joining us from her home in Maryland, but uh, she is an LSU student and just about an hour and a half. The LSU Board of Supervisors will vote on whether to remove the Middleton name from the main library on campus. Alasia is one of the uh, student leaders on campus who pushed to get this item before the board. Alasia, why was this an issue that was so important to you and your fellow students. Yes, thank you for that introduction and happy Juneteenth. Um, this platform, Black LSU, is something that me and other student leaders in Black LSU have decided to come together and create because we felt administration just wasn't supporting and meeting the needs of what we needed as students and just as individuals. So Middleton Library is a prominent place on campus, but the issue is his past being a segregationist is, is just a chilling memory of what the role of LSU has played in racism and desegregation. So we decided that this was one of our demands that we were gonna ask for the board as well as LSU administration to consider it towards the fight for change at LSU. Um, the climate of LSU is just always pushing diversity and inclusion, but we're not really getting policy that mirrors the current student population or just the climate of the world right now. Um, with the death of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, it had became you know, really apparent that we needed to ourselves take action and kind of push them to make these changes. Um, it's unfortunate that right now had to be the time that we did it, but I'm just more than happy that we were able to come together for this time and you know, that the board is actually deciding to vote on it. Absolutely, and that vote again is happening at 10 o'clock this morning. We should say that the Middleton family has come out and denounced these plans to even have the board, uh, the board take a look at this. You've been in the in the rooms with LSU administrators, with your fellow students, talking about these plans and even plans past just the library. Are you hopeful that uh, the plans that the university has released in terms of being a more diverse and inclusive university and campus will actually come to fruition? I am very hopeful. Um, I think talking with Miss Mary, who is the current board chair, as well as interim president Tom Galligan, we have sat down in numerous conversations about some of the things that we're experiencing at the university, as well as in the Baton Rouge community. They have agreed to several different policy changes, which includes hiring more diverse faculty, um, more programming towards us, and even um, coming across for more funding for our programs um, in our African American Cultural Center. So I am very hopeful that this will just be the first of many steps um, towards a better and more inclusive environment at LSU. And again, we'll see what the board decides to do at 10 o'clock this morning. Miss Alasia Johnson, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.